Bob Young! Buddy, this is your life! <laughs> <laughs> Bob, have a seat right here. Let's go look at you. Nice friend. What do we say? Your love is going to come up here. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I made it. <laughs> well, Robert Glenn Young, this is your life. Sort of. <laughs> you were born February 13, 1930, to the proud parents of Charles and Mary Young in Thorntown, Indiana, where you were raised by uh, you and your sisters, Betty and Jean, through the bumps and bruises of early childhood. Bob, as all young children anticipated holiday seasons, you were no exception to the rule. Bob, do you recognize this? Oh, 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 Merry Christmas. <laughs> do you remember what you asked me that Christmas? Before? Airplane. <laughs> but you were the only kid that left me something that year. <laughs> you emptied your tank from the water on my lap. As every child was getting tricycles and pedal cars, well, little Bobby got a little airplane. Bob, do you recognize this voice? You will in a minute. I promise. Here in a minute. Yes. <laughs> I think I recognize it. <laughs> uh, I know they got to be so <laughs> Look at all of us. Mama. <laughs> Keep quiet, more, keep quiet, Bobby. Ready? Yeah. Why did they really call you that? Yeah. I Webby. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a new name for it. Yeah. Webby. Webby. I like that. We've done some research. Captain, we start from the beginning. Then. Okay, then Bob, as every child was getting tricycles and pedal cars, while well, little Bobby got an airplane. Bob, do you recognize that? Hello. Hi.
much. And you laid down and you cried out. The only time I've ever known you cry and laid down was when you
If I could write as well as I was polite, I would be a good writer. <laughs> Bob, you recognize this letter. Dear Aunt Flo and you, Byron, did you hear the fight? It was well, by Rome. This is difficult to read because of your handwriting. <laughs> 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 Aunt Roy held the report card. I got 131 soldiers. Ask Roy if he can get any lead and can and Uncle Byron if he can get some lead for me. How is Charlie, Teddy, and Susan? They're shooting dogs here in Las Vegas. They got a muzzle or leaf gun. They shot four two other the other day. I'm always having bad luck, never good. Page two for me. I going I going to come down soon as I can. <laughs> the teacher said if I could write as well as I was polite, I would be a good writer. So I'll see you as soon as I can. Then later on you say, My side hurts awfully bad and I was in school and had a bad pain in my heart and came near feeling <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, thank you. Appreciate that. How's the weather? Uh, it's, it's cooled off. I think that we're getting part of your, your cold weather. Yeah, we've got a cold front in today. Well, boys, I say happy birthday. Okay. Say happy birthday, Grandpa. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, you hear what it says? Hi, Grandpa. That's very good. Hello. I'm a happy birthday. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. Well. <laughs> Thank you for calling. I appreciate that. Well, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, all right. I will, uh, I'll talk to you later this weekend. Probably. Okay. Thanks, Did you get the box? Did you get the box? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I'm going to have a today. Okay, good. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay. I love you. I love you, too. Bye-bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Moving on. After successfully raising two wonderful girls and six grandchildren, you began a new adventure in writing literature, doing radio broadcasts, <laughs> holy <laughs> radio. These life-changing ministries were affecting lives everywhere. Bob, I'm sure you don't recognize this voice, but give it a shot. Oh, well, well, Bobby, I've been dying for this minute, just dying for it. Oh, Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby, I was walking in the